Good evening, thank you for joining once again. Um, we're continuing our career mode again this time. If you watched the last video, I believe we hit a 57, I think it was, um, on TBC Twin Cities. Um, really good round, quite a few shots uh, you know within sort of five foot of the hole so I was pretty happy with that one I'm um, going to continue and we're at um, Detroit Golf Club now I'm not sure if I've played this one before or not and yes we're going to challenge Brooke Henderson so 72 so let's jump in Um yeah I can't remember if I've played this one or not to be honest that sometimes I'm not really paying attention to the courses as much just playing them if i enjoy them i save them um but this is my first first season in korean mode so i probably haven't played this course yet i am enjoying it um still waiting for maybe a few more patches to iron out some of the glitches that people are seeing certainly i've seen um but when it's working i am enjoying it I might actually start having a look at the fittings for my clubs. I know I mention it, mentioned it in the last video. I still haven't done that yet. But I'm, I'm kind of just want to, you know, keep accruing them, keep getting better, better fittings before I even start using them. Um, but I'll probably do a video on it at some point. Uh, probably my, you know, what my character is, my um, my levels, etc. So. First of all, I can see the wind's going to be a lot stronger in this round. The last round we had, I think the most we ever had was sort of five or six miles an hour. So instantly, I know this one's going to be a bit more challenging, which, you know, it's not a bad thing. Definitely need to get better at um, judging the wind. But we've obviously got a par four here, so this is going to go well over 300 yards. Nice. Just a nice little pitch shot in. Um, and this is about spot on. So two foot ups. This is going to play about 68. But then the wind. Um, probably going to put a lot of loft on. A bit of backspin. It's going to go slightly left. So probably going to aim about here. It's not far. So the wind shouldn't affect it too much. Um. Yeah, nice. That's not bad. Nice seven footer to start with. I think we'll just aim just beyond right edge. Nice. You know, hit it confidently. Put a bit of power into it. it was a little bit uphill. Take some of the break out of it. I don't really pay much attention to the rivals because I haven't got the computer AI set on a difficult level or anything. Um, and at the moment, at least, that was a bit of a better strike. I'm just more interested in, in improving my game, getting good scores, trying to get another hole-in-one. We nearly had another hole-in-one in the last video. Um, again, if you haven't watched them, my, my first ever video on... 2k23 that I recorded I got a hole in one which was amazing um first one on on this game and then second video recorded I nearly got another one um so we'll see what happens but this is going to play about 162 then the wind probably about one ooh, one 72ish maybe um Wind, one, two, probably aim about here. Bit of loft. Yeah, it didn't aim far enough right, but I was worried about aiming too far and getting towards that bunker. Oh, this is a nasty putt. Look at that slope. Um. Now, normally I would add a bit of power when it's uphill, but I'm just trying to 
get it to the hole. Um, don't want to risk going too far. Looks decent, looks decent. Oh, just burnt the edge there. And yeah, that was me being a bit cautious. If I had put a bit more power, that would have went in. Would have taken some of the rake out. But like I said in the previous video, sometimes it is a little bit better to be making sure that you're only going to have a two putt. Um, and sometimes those will just drop. You know, you'll play it slightly safer, and they'll, you know, if you've got a good line, they'll still drop. So. I will speed some of the shots up as well, so apologies if you're not lucky in that. You know, leave a comment um, for any suggestions, any tips that you've got for the game, anything you'd like to see. Um, obviously, you know, I'm not a, I don't record that much stuff. I did record some stuff a while back on different games on my PS5 and PS4, um, but I'm certainly not a, a YouTuber per se. Um, so this is playing about 99 yards, about 109. So maybe play it as about 110, add a bit of spin on. Um, yeah. That's looking pretty good. That's looking very good. Oof. Nice. Can add a little bit of power just to take some of the break out. Yeah, just bang it in. Now one of these days I'll do that and I'll miss and it'll go 20 foot by. But uh, that's a nice shot, isn't it? Well, apart from the big rocket mortgage in the middle of it, a bit of sponsorship. Um, well, we can just blast this uh, this drive spot on. Is this over 600 yards, this par 5? I think it was. Um, so, where's the T? No, I just imagine that. I'm not, I'm not sure. Um, lies good. I am going to draw it in a bit, but just because of the wind and... Yeah, just sort of the layout of it. You never know with the wind. This, this, I've got a chance here, and that is perfect. T Twelve and six uh, direction. A bit more fade would have done it. But I've got a decent bounce. Got a decent bounce. That is, like that distance is perfect. Just maybe aimed a little bit further left or a bit more draw would have been spot on. But I'll take that any day. Um, now on a nasty lie, so this will break left almost instantly, but um, so I'm just going to put the flag back in just to, so it's probably going to break, yeah, probably looking at a good full square. Why didn't I take the pin out? I still went in. Nice. Why did I leave the pin in? Nice putt though. Whew. So. Ah. First par three. So this is playing about 176 with the wind. Probably about 166-ish. Um... It's, well, because it's uphill and it's sloping slightly towards us, that will help stop the ball a bit quicker. Um, obviously, it's going left to right, so one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to... Hmm. But the wind will make it the momentum carry. So I'm going to take a little bit of a risk. Well, I think... Good strike. 
I don't know, the wind's carried up massively right, that's not a risk at all. <laughs> but yeah, distance almost spot on. And you know, you don't have to be perfect every time. It's about getting it in an area where you've got a chance of making a, a birdie or an eagle on a par five. Um, I am going to hit this a little bit harder. And I think this is probably going to be... Now, so hitting a bit harder just really did take the break out of it, which is what I was trying to do, but... Um, that's fine. Um, so I'm going to have to fade this a bit just to make sure. And uh, obviously the wind's going to want to be the longest drive. Probably could have added a bit of um, D-loft on it just to cut through the wind a bit. So, we've still got, why is it aiming there? Why is it, <laughs> why is it trying to aim there? Uh, that's a bit strange one. So it's going to go slightly left, the wind's going slightly left as well. So I'll probably aim for this top bit. Uh, it's going to play about 193, 194. really want to stop it that quickly. Yeah, I think I do. Just whether my judgment is right. No. No. That's not good. Perfect line. It's just, yeah. And again, I thought about it. I thought about, you know, Clubbing up a bit more or taking some of the deal off, off, deal off, off. Um, but I didn't uh, pay for the price there. So got a nasty put here. Again, this is all about just getting a safe two put. Um, I'm probably going to aim. I'll do. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. So four under um, through six. Got some nice, um, nice looking fairways on this course. I'm enjoying this course as well. The, the past couple of courses I've really, really enjoyed. Um, At least so far, anyway. And I do like the challenge of the wind. <laughs> I just need to get better at it. Um, anyway, so it's up. So it's playing about 227. Um, 214 with the wind. So I think playing the 4 iron is probably about right. The wind might take it a little bit right, but then it's sloping left, so that's, I'm going to leave it bang on. I am going to add a bit of spin and loft, and I am going to drop it a bit short. Just because of the momentum with the wind. Um, now, it might not make it to the hole. Um, it's clearly not going to. So, I could have took more of a risk, but I didn't want it sloping off here, so I'm happy with a two put here um, for a birdie. So again, I've got the crest here. So, probably going to want to aim about... I 
I think about yeah, I think about there. I didn't take the pin out again. That's way right. Um never leave the pin in. I've done that twice in this round already. Yeah, that was a poor putt though, but safe. Two putt for a, a birdie. So I aim towards these bunkers. Which always feels weird, but the wind should just straighten up. There we go. And that's going to be bang in the middle of the fair. We have a nice little, probably a pitch shot into the green there. Um, yeah, nice. So this will go left a bit, and then you got the wind. So uh, just give me two minutes. I'm just <laughs> turning off my phone. There, it was buzzing. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do is just going to be a bit left, uh, 13 but pretty close, so say maybe aim about 6 wide, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, wind again probably about 6 or 7, so I think about there. Okay, so over overestimated the turn, but oof, it's not a nice putt either, is it? Um, take the flag stick out. And I'll leave the power as is. I don't like the view sometimes. Uh, you know, the camera angles, it's weird on the button. Um, I might have a look in to see whether I can change anything on that side. It's fine, like, lining it up, but just when you take the shot, it's, you know, a lot of the time you just see in the back of the player's head. So this is playing about 204. Wind. It's going to be a tricky one, isn't it? Um, so, probably going to want to aim about, I don't know, eight ish, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, 205, 204, wind, probably about 214. I think I'm going to play like, I think I'm going to play about 206 just to get that roll. Yeah, it could have been a bit further right, but I was playing a little bit safe. And again, could have been a bit stronger. But again, what, 20 foot or something? 15 foot, you know, decent chance at a birdie. Decent line, just going to curve wide. Yeah, I made a slight adjustment just at the last second, moved it back in a bit, and that's uh, cost me the birdie there. But Again, not a bad hole. And I'm enjoying it, so that's the main thing. But yeah, if any viewers out there, I'd appreciate you watching. If you can, check out my other videos. Um, but mainly I'd like to hear, you know, your comments. Like, have you got the game? Do you enjoy it? What would you like to see, you know, improvements in the game? Um... Have you had any issues? Have you had any glitches? 
if you've got any tips for me or for anyone watching. What do you play on? I mean, I'm using the three click swing. I know most people don't use that. Um, I would say if you haven't tried it, you know, give it, give, give a few rounds to it, and you might, you might really like it. Um, okay, so yeah, probably gonna play it. I reckon about here. I'm not going to bother counting and things like that. I'm just going to make a little bit of a judgment call. Uh, it's not enough power, but the line was pretty decent. Downhill. So we are going to take a little bit off this just so it doesn't roll too far because it is over 20 foot. Um, and it's one of those where... I'm leaning more towards left edge, I think. But no, so it was probably almost bang on straight. Um, come on, let's get our scoring boots on. Um, Yeah, I think I'm just gonna. Yeah, it slopes that way anyway, so I'm just gonna leave. Oops, finger nearly slipped off the mouse there. That's uh, nearly. Look at that. Well, didn't quite aim right enough, but that is a decent shot. Decent, decent shot there. Um. I think about halfway between the grid line and the hole. Nice. So six under, which I think is tied for the lead now, is it? Yeah, tied for the lead. We've got a third of the course left, so um, pretty good going so far. I'm also interested in potentially recording some other games. I'm not sure what yet, but um, I'm really enjoying sort of PC gaming at the minute. I love my PS5, but I just haven't been on it for a while. And you can get so many good deals on Steam, you know, like <laughs> just lots of little games. You get them on sale for like a couple of quid. I know it's like what everyone says, but it's just so true. I've got loads of games sitting there that... I've paid hardly any money for. Um, so yeah, I might give a few of those a go in a video. So, probably going to aim 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 maybe. Maybe, maybe just there. Um, it's playing about 172, 182. We'll say about 182. Um, but it will have a little bit of roll. Um, maybe put a bit of D-loft on. Yeah, and it's slightly below my feet, so it will go a little bit right anyway. That's not a bad... Not a bad... Look, yep. Again, I played it a little bit safe. Probably could have clubbed up and adjusted the power. And this looks like a, a grid line, I think. Oh, close. Actually, yeah, there's a question for anyone watching that has played this. Do you have any sort of putting tips, anything that you use? Because I know there's quite a few um, sort of techniques that people use that I've, I've tried some of them. And some of them are pretty good. But I just sort of got a bit sick of trying to use them. Um, you know, counting the beads and the squares. And 
you know, does anyone have any anything they use that they found quite successful? Um, so I'm going to aim one, two, probably about it's about four, about there. Well, the winds hmm, can check there. It's just starting to go more left to right rather than forward, but. Yeah, got a bit of judder there, so apologies for that if you saw that in the video. And this just looks like it's going to straighten off pretty much straight away. So we'll aim left edge. Nice. I would say as well that the greens can be very inconsistent. You know, you'll see a break on one hole could be even the same course and you know it breaks as you would expect and there are somewhere it looks like a severe you know like it looks like a very clear say left to right you know there's nothing going right to left and it'll literally just go straight or even the other way sometimes doesn't happen all that often at least on the courses i'm playing like the relatively i haven't got it on really difficult settings or anything um because i did try and play a few on harder settings and it was just the greens. It was just, yeah, it just wasn't, it was just too much. Like, it, the ball was rolling ridiculously off the green, and yeah, I just didn't enjoy it. So, they're not on the hardest settings, but um, inconsistent is definitely the word I would use. Um, This is a tricky one, so I think we'll go. Maybe about two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, the wind's just almost dropped off at the last second, and I've almost hit it slightly left as well there. But that looks that's good. That looks good. Did we put too much deal off, or is it just going to trickle up there? Oof, I think it's just stayed on the ridge there. Nice shot though. And that didn't seem to move right or left at all, even though there was a break, but really nice eagle. And um, we've got a part three coming up, quite a short part three. Um so I think we'll leave almost as is. This might go a little bit short, so I'll add a little bit of deal off. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Yeah. God, that was nearly a missed time swing. Again, a little bit lazy. It's getting late at night, so probably make this my last round. Really nice shot. Again, I was going to aim a little bit further right, which probably would have been bang on, but um, again, sometimes the wind doesn't behave how you expect you know it'll play 90% of the time you'll aim for a 10 yard wind pure right to left it'll do the same thing 9 times out of 10 and then another time the ball will literally not deviate at all it'll just go perfectly straight and pff, you're kind of screwed then if you're aiming right towards a bunker or something which uh, it's happened to me a couple of times and I haven't mistimed it or anything um, and again I'm not perfect I'm you know I make lots of misjudgments, but there's been a few where I'm not mis misjudging at all, and it just doesn't do what you expect it to. Um, so, uh, you know, hopefully HB Studios will iron those out. Uh, 158, playing 159, it's slightly towards me. Um, so might, again, add a little bit of D-loft. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Yeah, might actually draw in a little bit. Not bad. Not bad. Not my best approach, but safe. Hmm. 
Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was really going to turn much at all, and it probably overcompensated. Um, it was relatively straight, probably more just right edge than anything. But we're on the 17th, um, par 5. I'm just going to aim this one sort of. Oh my goodness. This is going to be bunker bound, I'm sure, is it? Nope. That was a horrendous shot. Yeah, like I say, it's late at night. I've um, had a few rounds today, and um, this is probably maybe one too many. I mean, I'm really enjoying it, but I'm just um, I can I can feel my concentration's going a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this one in. Um, I'm going to aim pretty much left side of the green. Hope it doesn't catch sort of the edge here. Anywhere on the green would do really. Um, My timing's definitely going off a bit. Don't it? Just bounce over the ridge. Nice. Now that's pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. Probably got about 25, 30 foot maybe. Um, 26, good guess. Um, Going to add a tiny bit of power on. I don't think a grid line's enough. I think it's more a full square over. Maybe in between. Maybe should have aimed a little bit further left. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. A couple of maybe two golf balls to the left. Um But we're into the eighth um eleven under, which is pretty good going. Clearly well in the lead. Um Gonna just draw it a little bit and use the wind to stay. Oops, sorry, just not the microphone. Just to stay clear of that bunker, and we'll have a nice shot into the uh, into the green there. Nice, um, interesting <laughs> fairway here. Fairly straight wind, which I quite like. Definitely gonna want to aim left side because the wind is slightly left to right and it's sloping towards the hole that way. Um, it's going to play about 134, 124. Um, 124. Yeah. Bit of deal off, bit of spin, not too much. Hopefully this won't stop too quickly. A little bit, yeah. It's a nice line as well. Bit disappointed with that. Could have been better. Um. Now I was thinking of aiming a full, so like here, but I'm thinking I'm going to aim about one, about a grid line and a quarter of a square. I think that's about right. Ah. Nope. Original thought was probably close close up but this should be it so I mean 11 under I actually really like that course I think I'll favor that one as well um, so once again thank you very much for joining me I think we'll have a very quick look at the, the scorecard um, obviously sponsored by Rocket Mortgage yeah yeah skip all this um, but really enjoying the game, like I say. I hope you are too. Definitely some improvements to be made. But, you know, we've got to bear in mind that the game hasn't been out a massive amount of time. Just skipping all the XP. And I'll have a quick look at the scorecard. Yeah, so a couple of eagles in there. Really nice. Some really tricky putts, but again, a bogey free round and a 61. So I'm quite happy with that. But yep, thank you very much for joining, guys, and hopefully I'll see you all next time.